Thanks to entertaining, our next guest has you covered with the ultimate game day crowd pleaser. So invite your friends over, turn on the big game, and dig into that. Because our good friend, <laughs> Top Chef alum, Bruce Coleman is here with his sensational seven layer dip like no other. Welcome back. How are you doing? We're so excited to have you. Awesome. As you, you can see. You got a head start on that yeah, already. Yeah. As you can see, Orly got... started 10 minutes yeah. ago. <laughs> I'm just saying. Is that your second serving? It is. Yeah. Shusha. Yeah. It's so <laughs> good. Oh my goodness. Now, this really is a fan it favorite is. at any party. It's it a crowd pleaser, you know? It really is. Doesn't it's the thing that everybody's standing around it, talking, you know, watching the game, and it's just, it's always a good time. My gosh. It's basically nachos without the meat in it. Pretty, and I mean, sort of, layered. yeah. Yeah, no, it's just a fun dip, you know, and there's a million variations you could do on it, you know, and today what I've done is, you know, like there's always sour cream. I've subbed it out for labna, which is kind of like a Greek style yogurt. It's acidic, it's thick, I like it. We're gonna spice it up nice. Okay. And then a special guacamole, which we'll get to in a minute. Really cool, yeah. and cabbage, which I like. Yep. Okay, so show us how to make the labna. So for the labna, I've got some different spices. I've got cumin, a little okay. coriander, some chili powder. And this is yogurt, right? Yeah. So it's just like it's just like tzatziki for the Greeks, except yeah, it, without all the without all the extra. Yeah, it'd be garlic stuff. and dill and lemon. We've got some you lime juice. Buy just zest. regular uh, Greek yogurt. No, it's no. it's that you can actually buy labna. At the oh, so it's store. called yeah. labna. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry about that. L a b n e h. Gotcha. Do you want it spicy? Sure, put it in there. Okay. Why not? All right, so that's a little chip, uh, ground chipotle and adobo. Okay. Mm. And we're just gonna mix this all together. And the adobo is kind of um, smoky, it's right? The, yeah, exactly. It's, it's it's that sauce that it's sitting in. Because you can buy Chipotle is dried, you know, you can right. buy Chipotle powder now. It's really cool. So, hey, man, I feel smell like how fragrant that. that is, right? Yeah, As its own dip so right good. there. I know, I was going to say that. I mean, this is enough, them. right? Yeah, my gosh. You okay, can do so this, we'll but we're not going to do that. Here. We're doing seven of them. <laughs> so now, now, is seven layers dip really seven layers? Kind, I mean, kind of, you know, it, it's, it, <laughs> yeah. It no, varies. no, it's not. But <laughs> It depends on what you have in your yeah. refrigerator, I guess. So I'm gonna mash up these avocados. You wanna definitely have super ripe avocados when you do this. Okay. Um, and all we're gonna add to this is some cumin. You now there's a similar theme here. Yeah, that's Some right. lime juice, a little jalapeno. Oof. We've got tomatoes. Oh, there you go. look at that, slippery guy. <laughs> some chopped cilantro. And then where this is a little bit different is I've got some ruby red grapefruit. Oh, isn't that wow. interesting? Yeah, really? it adds, it adds, you know, because guacamole typically is like it's heavier, you know, kind of with the avocado super yep. creamy and rich. And that just kind of that acidity is nice. You know, you always have lime juice, but then it's a little different. It's a little sweeter, you yeah. know, and then you get it when you're eating it. I'm sure you've experienced it already. You get like a, a bite of grapefruit. You're like, whoa, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Yeah. and it's yeah. really nice to know, too, because. You know, a lot of times I think people think if they don't have limes at home, they can't make guacamole. Right. But as long as you have some sort of citrus, it's yeah, okay, right? Yeah, totally. I mean, I, orange could work, you know, but you definitely want to have that balance. You want so, either lime or lemon for sure, because they're they're going to be a little less sugar okay. and more acid. So you want that definitely to cut through the richness of the avocado. Okay. And that's it. And now we build. And now we're building. Over so. here we have our refried beans. All right. So, so that's got, layer one. Refried yeah. beans, yeah. Okay. I mean... Build it how you want it. Gotcha. This is how I do it. Because, right. you know, you see in the layers right there, the color, the variations of color is nice. And you could use any kind of bean, really. You could. I mean, you could, and you could make it at home, too. You can Google, um, you know, a refried bean recipe. You know, you just basically cook mm. them and then what cool about, them like, down. What about, white beans? You could do white, white beans. beans. You could do really cool heirloom beans from one of the beautiful farmer's markets in California. Oh, I didn't know heirloom beans were a thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Totally. Are you judging oh me for not knowing that? No, no, I not, feel, I feel no, judgment. not at all. I'm right with you. Not, How dare, he's judging me. Okay, well, I am the not. Lavna of it. <laughs> well, that fine, fine, delicious. I'm judging you. <laughs> See, that is How phenomenal. dare you not know that, <laughs> Orly? All That's right. why I have you. All right, you want to do this one? Sure. All right. Gosh, this guacamole is fun. delicious. So, We've got our lobna down. Okay. This smell, it smells so good too. It does. It smells like the, the kitten bowl, you know? It's just. <laughs> it smells actually like fancy seven layer dip. Yeah, it smells, this, it's, so this smells like a sporting event to me. Yeah. A party, you know? Wow, that's good. So we're My just gonna goodness. spread that in there nice. And then what goes? The uh, we're gonna go right in that order. So I've got a blend of uh, this side first. Okay. A blend of Oaxaca and white cheddar. Okay. Just toss it on there. More cheese is more cheese. Yeah, we want cheese for sure. Yeah, love that. I can't stop. And then we've got some shredded Napa cabbage. Now, I like the idea of using cabbage versus lettuce. Yeah, the cabbage stays crisp. 
longer, and it also, you know, it adds that nice, fresh, crisp bite to this. Anything mm. with crunch. Exactly. Yeah. And then we've got some pico de gallo, which is just tomato, uh, red onion, lime, and, you can, and some cilantro. You don't have to make it. You can no, just get I mean, a good yeah, one. You, yeah, you can get a good one. The dip itself is actually pretty good for you. Like, it's pretty healthy. Yeah. For you, you know what I mean? It's all true. just. Uh, sure. Yeah, I mean, you other than the cheese. That. Other than the cheese. <laughs> it's not bad. I, I mean, know. It's good. It's listen, good. <laughs> it, all things considered, most game day appetizers yes. are yeah, exactly. deep fried, yeah. you know. Wings and yeah. pizza bagels. <laughs> cheese whip. I love a pizza bagel. So this is there? this is my escabiche. I have uh, my pickle company, which I've told you about before. I love your pickles. BK Brinery, and we make an escabiche, which is essentially pickled jalapeno and carrots. Ooh. It's oh. it's nice and spicy. I'm sure you've gotten a yeah. hit of yeah, it. Yeah, we definitely. Yeah. So that's what like, that hit. Yeah, okay, good. And it has a little allspice onions. It's really nice. Some another fresh layer. And the thing you, you probably notice too is as I'm building it, there's like kind of a heavier layer than a fresh layer. Heavier layer, fresh layer. Cotija cheese and some scallions. Wow, I think this is like 19 layer. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, I was gonna say the same. I'm an yeah. overachiever, I can't help it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then we've got some limes, you can squeeze some lime on okay. there if you like. Freshen well, it up again. Yep. And now then... it is time for you guys to enjoy, we've been enjoying for a while. Mm. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to make this dish this weekend. Cheers. Of course, Cat Bowl, Kitten Bowl, they are coming up uh, Saturday and Sunday. Mm. And as always, the full instructions uh, wow. for this delicious Seven layer dip. Right. Debbie yep. gives it Field a goal. Goal. Good. touchdown. Field goal. Touchdown. Full uh, <laughs> instructions go to hallmarkchannel.com. And for more from Bruce, visit his social media at Chef B. Coleman. Check it out.